Okay, so here I had a successful lunch today. I had two ham and egg and cheese croissants. I mean ham cheese croissants. I had a great Starbucks coffee. I had Chipotle tacos. And Magnolia sponsors my sugary needs, which on poor people, homeless people don't like sugary needs. So I, they treat me with cookies and cupcakes, you know. <laughs> Be great, but my taste buds were, I didn't taste the cupcakes good because my taste buds were bad the other day. Um, <coughs> so today I want to go through a couple of things. I don't have much to say today, but um, you heard about the war, um, the Norhal. Trust me, he's a real Norhal because he has wizard powers. Um, I've been taking away his wizard powers little by little so he won't disappear from the cops when they come because. He, he, trust me, the helicopter's trying looking for him, and he shows up in Elizabeth. And they're like, what the fuck? He's like, what the fuck that white guy is doing in the middle of um, um, Elizabeth and Newark? It's very weird. Trust me, he has wizard power. And then the other one, the Brian, the dinosaur, he had, used to have sex, had sex with him because he thought he was gonna get teeth because he had a mammal tooth. All right. Anyway, did I tell you about my experience? I was dead for like a week, and it was the funniest thing because um, supposedly the devil stabbed me in the back, and I was in the stairs of the 57th Street Station and the F train, which is now the F train, and I got stabbed, and I had a knife in my back, and I was walking everywhere with an invisible knife, and no, this was like suicide because everybody was like, just take your life away, just throw yourself in the train track, just throw. I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not gonna throw myself in the train track, <laughs> and people were very sad because people were looking for me for a whole week because I was missing, and someone came with a credit card to give me a credit card and everything <laughs> it was very weird and no one saw me you know i was invisible people were looking for me and then the scavenger hunt and everything like crazy in central park south this is a crazy experience this was like six or seven months ago <laughs> and then um i was i was gonna rush to the hospital you know but i'm like no i'm gonna walk off i got and i had to take off that it, it was a butcher knife you know i got killed with in my back it was a big butcher knife while I was sleeping in the stairs, it was summertime, and then um, I, I just asked God to, I don't want to die, and I kept asking God, please just bring me back, bring me back, and he was like, no, I want to see, uh, this is what it feels like when you're dead, and your spirit stays alive, and you just walk in the streets, and the streets, this is a real spirit. That, that left unhappy and that wasn't supposed to die and you walk around the streets and everything and you walk and no one sees you and then no one passes you by you know you don't shove an elbow you don't feel nothing it's the weirdest thing and then i get hungry i still get hungry spirits still so i used to go to starbucks and, and take my my tomato basil and cheese uh mozzarella um with that bruschetta sandwich whatever it is and i used to take it and i used to get freaked out because they didn't see me and all they even saw was the sandwich invisible flying out, out the store and i used to go to a cubby hole in the corner to eat my stuff and my 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 um smoothie drink or whatever and i used to go to the stores and get my soda no one noticed that i came i was taking food and stuff from places it was a very crazy situation for me until god brought me back to life you know it was very crazy Okay, so now and then um, then um, this turned into Nazi Germany, and I was I was singing Jojo Rabbit songs from, in, from Germany, or back and forth, and all the German people going crazy. Like they they like he he survived this um this um guy doing the German Germany here, because <laughs> I know German. He didn't know I was I was gonna know German. He was pissed the hell off. Um, um I want to introduce a new bro. I want to have the Broadway crowd to see if we could do a new. I want to do a new musical play. It's going to be the best musical play in the history. It's going to bring oldies from the 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, present time. It's a music. It's going to call In the Station. And it's going to be a crazy, crazy thing. You know, it's kind of like the story of my life. But, and then it's going to expose the, the homeless life, the homelessness life in America and, and in New York City and everything. And the history in New York City and everything. It's going to be, it's just going to be in the station, but it's going to be a crazy, crazy story, you know. It's going to be, the music is going to be phenomenal. Everybody's going to love the music. Um, and then my new movie, Conversion Therapy, which is a good movie. It's a secret, you know. You guys don't, until you guys don't see it in the big film. Um, but that's about all. Oh, take care.